Relentless Cristiano Ronaldo illuminates World Cup 2018 with his latest stunning reinvention. 84 international goals, 51 career hat tricks and unquestionably his finest World Cup finals display. In the end, it was the Cristiano Ronaldo show. And not the one where he goes out of his way to try and make it about himself, like the Champions League final for example. No, this was the genuine article. The real deal. A helter-skelter clash in Sochi which well and truly got the World Cup underway, as Spain and Portugal shared six goals in a thriller. And in the end, everyone was talking about Ronaldo. There are players for some matches, there are players for every match and there are players for special matches. And the players for special matches are the ones, Jose Moreno declared post-game. Unquestionably this was a special match. And Ronaldo is perhaps, to paraphrase the Manchester United boss, the most special one. Twice Ronaldo had given the Sulacau the lead, only for Diego Costa to both times equalise for La Roja. Three minutes after the ex-Chelsea man second leveller, Ronaldo's Real Madrid colleague Nacho, whom Ronaldo had befuddled into giving away an early penalty, atoned for his error with a right foot howitzer that flew past Rui Patricio into the back of the net. Had it stopped there, it would likely have been Russia's best game. Not even so far. Just the best. Because this is going to take some topping such had been the quality. As time ticked by, Spain looked worthy winners. They kept Fernando Santos side, and in particular Ronaldo, at arm's length. That is until Gerard Peak made a challenge when he didn't need to, some 25 yards from goal. The Barcelona defender will look back and wonder why. Then, greatness took over. Ronaldo's record from free kicks at major finals has often been criticised. At World Cups and European Championships past his tally stood at 43 attempts, zero goals. His first half effort here hit the wall. But his 45th effort was sensational. Technically, it was majestic, and showed that, even at 33, with five Ballon d'Or trophies to his name and the record as the greatest goal scorer of his generation, he is still seeking to improve. For years Ronaldo has utilized what has become known as the knuckleball at dead balls. It has become a staple within his arsenal, the jabbing motion where he catches the ball on the top of the foot and doesn't so much strike through the line, but rather stuns on contact. Here, the stance was the same and the run-up similar. But instead, Ronaldo opened his foot, hitting with the instep and curling up over the outside of the post and bending it back into the top corner. Great players are adaptable, flexible and change routines, proclaimed Rio Ferdinand. That's what he's done today. It's something which he's been working on and which we've seen him attempt for both club and country in the last year or so. In his never-ending quest for perfection, he has varied his striking technique. However, the success had never truly been there. Until now. As such. This most glorious effort wasn't just a triumph of technique. It was also a triumph of Ronaldo's mental toughness, almost as much as the man himself. Ronaldo has made himself such a revered figure in the world game through sheer dedication to his craft. Now, in the heat of battle, a losing battle at that, to block out everything and to just be in the moment, man and ball, and have that kind of self-belief that this is the moment when it will all come good, is nothing but remarkable. He's relentless in his pursuit of greatness, added Ferdinand. Tonight, Portugal were once more thankful for that relentless streak, while the World Cup in Russia was illuminated because of it.